One year for my birthday, I asked for a new pair of legs because my legs were beginning to not walk so good. They said no, I couldn't have a new pair of legs, but they gave me the next best thing, which was a dog, a little puppy. She was the cutest thing I had ever seen. I didn't know what it felt like to be loved until I had this dog. She was the one who taught me what it means to be loyal, to stick by someone's side no matter what. If I was having one of my sick days, she stayed inside with me, and I didn't feel as lonely when I heard all my friends playing outside. But then, my condition became worse. And they thought, maybe the dog was making me sicker. One morning, as I left for school, I could hear her crying and barking inside the house. She knew something was wrong. She knew they were going to take her away from me. I wish I turned back so I could have seen her one last time, but I didn't. I went to school, and when I came home, she was gone. These days, I'm not allowed to leave my room much, and I miss her more than ever. I have to keep reminding myself that they can take away my dog, but they can't take away my memories of her. Sometimes, I would do anything to see her one more time. Some days, I even wish I would die so I could see her in heaven and not be sick anymore. But then I remember there's a lot of things to look forward to. I can't wait to see what happens with life and all the fun things I'm going to do. I rejoiced in the Lord greatly. Now that at last your care of me has flourished again. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I know how to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.